Hi guys, yeah, 9,000. No, I'm not talking about Bitcoin. Don't freak out, don't freak out, always zoom out. We didn't dip to 9,000 yet. We can always dip to 9,000. We can even dip to, dip to 6,600, as I will show you in the chart later. I'm making a very short video because I have a crazy busy day today and tomorrow also a short video so and I will add my YouTube show I already did this morning with Sean and Lisa to this very short video but let's quickly start because else I'm talking too much again 9,000 subscribers we started this whole adventure with about 1500 subscribers subscribers three months ago we grew times we almost grew times six in three months time so we went from 1500 to 9,000 followers hopefully soon we will reach 10k followers i'm already thinking what kind of giveaway i'm going to do when we reach 10k followers but let's jump into the charts guys let's start with this one bam this one is a plan b chart yes you already saw this plan b chart many more times plan b tweeted today that we can see that the weekly moving average the 200 weekly moving average has been increasing with 200 dollars Per month at the moment this 200 weekly moving average is around six thousand six hundred dollar next month six thousand eight hundred dollar we have never crossed below the 200 weekly moving average at least we have never closed a monthly candle below the 200 weekly moving average so I don't expect that we will close this month below the 200 weekly moving average we will stay above six thousand six hundred but Didi, that is like 3k lower than we are at the moment. Yes, Bitcoin, all pleasure. It is one big roller coaster ride. Yes, we could go to 6k, we could go to 12k. No one knows. But if we look to 2017, to the month of March, we can see that in the month of March, we see a red dot lower than the month of February. We will probably see exactly the same now with these red dots in this bull market. So this red dot could be lower than the red dot before which means bitcoin is a little bit in problem but it doesn't mean if you zoom out that we are not continuing to grow in the bitcoin price the next couple of months of years because we are in a bull market so crazy cool chart crazy cool notice by plan b that we don't need to freak out and always zoom out and then let's take a look at this chart bam this one 2016 compared to 2020 Yes, you can see these same colored areas. The green area that evolved into this yellow area and then evolved into this blue area. Let's see what happened in 2016. See from the green to the yellow area, we had a dip from the top of the green area into this yellow area. And then we went sideways in this yellow area. And then in 2016, from this yellow area, we exploded into this blue area. And then we moved sideways in this blue area. And then from this blue, in this blue area, we can see a very sharp drop. In 2016, in this blue area, a sharp drop down to the bottom of this area. And then from the bottom of this area, you can see we bounced up again and we continued reaching the top of this blue area. Now look to the 2020 chart. What can you see on this 2020 chart? Exactly the same. From this green area and dip into this yellow area, sideways in this yellow area, an explosion into this blue area. And in this blue area, we are now seeing this very sharp spike downwards. If we would copy 2016, we would now slowly move up from, to the, from this bottom in the blue area to the top of this blue area and then go sideways for some time in that region. So really cool chart, 2016 compared with 2020 and exactly the same could happen now. So don't freak out, but zoom out. Yes, it hurts if you're all in in Bitcoin. Yes, it hurts when your alts drop in value at 50% or more, but please zoom out, don't freak out everything what comes down must go up again and we will go up again because we are still in an uptrend we didn't create a weekly lower low we didn't create a monthly lower low we will still continue this uptrend till that we create lower lows in the weekly or in the monthly time frame guys so please again don't freak out zoom out yesterday was a guy on twitter he tweeted to me didi did you see your picture in a tedx presentation no i said no sent me the link so he sent me the link to the video and there is a tedx talk about bubbles i think it was about bubbles and in this tedx talk around 10 minutes he's talking about the bitcoin family because we are the perfect example of how not to do it 
never go all in because that could change your life because if you go all in you go wrecked at least that is what this guy is telling at the audience he is telling that we got in somewhere around the top in 2017 and that we crashed all the way down to to four thousand dollars and that we are bankrupt maybe he should subscribe to our youtube channel as well so he can see we are still not bankrupt and we are still traveling the world and we did get in a little bit earlier and again it is not only about money it is not only about making profit it is about changing life and maybe this guy needs to watch our life to see that we didn't take the step just to become filthy rich but we took the step to change life and we succeeded in changing life so that would have, should have been the result of his presentation about us but take a look at this one or two minute clip from TEDx the perfect illustration of this are these beautiful people they're called the Bitcoin family and yes you've heard it right uh, they have sold everything that they've got, minimized their expenses, just to invest everything in Bitcoin. An absolute all-in, fear of missing out, a blind belief in a technology that you don't necessarily understand. The popular belief is that the Bitcoin family bought Bitcoin somewhere between the car healing app stage and I am Warren Buffett stage, which implies that they have lost a lot of money since Bitcoin right now trades around $4,000, 80% less than its all time high. But bubbles, bubbles are not all painted in dark colors. Bubbles can be a time of great opportunity. So you needed to laugh as well? Yeah, I found it really funny as well. But again, we were part of a TED Talk now. Maybe in the future I will do a TED Talk and I will really explain in this TED Talk how you can change your life without giving a damn about money or all the materialistic stuff that you can lose by sometimes taking a gamble in life, but you have the opportunity to change that life. So TEDx, if you see this, call me. I will do a really cool talk on your show. The last thing I want to tell you before we go into the video from Lisa and Sean and me, yes, we will look at the Bitcoin chart and we will look at the Ethereum chart. But before we do this, I want to tell you guys that there is now a really cool offer on the Bybit exchange. If you sign up using my referral link to Bybit, you get a $90 deposit bonus. You get 20% discount on trading fees for the whole month September. And you can join a five Bitcoin giveaway. Five different people have a chance on winning one Bitcoin in the month of September, but you need to sign up before the 10th of September. So, so please sign up using my referral link today or tomorrow. And then on the 10th of September, they will announce the exact details of this draw for these five Bitcoins and how you can enter it. So, need, so you need to make sure you're signed up to buy Bit. So use the referral link down below the video, sign up to the Bybit referral link, $90 deposit bonus, 20% discount for trading all month of September, plus you have a chance on winning one of those five Bitcoins during the draw. Good luck with the draw, good luck with signing up, and now enjoy this amazing part of the video of the hard forking show between Sean, Lisa, and me. Hey. 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 <laughs> Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> Short show. I'm working on a time machine to take everyone back a week. So don't worry. Everything's yeah, fine. let's all jump into our DeLoreans and go back in time a week and all short the market. Let's look at some charts. <laughs> Sean's like, I've got, to get, I've got to get control of these two. No. That's right. yeah, yeah. Control, control. I would never control. try. Control. You want to control us? No. Yeah. No, we're he's, never, he's like, he's like the prime minister of Australia and the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So this is this is my current tra uh, chart. This is on um, TradingView. It is actually the editor's choice, so it's it's gaining lots of attention and and it's opening a new audience to my beautiful, colourful charts. Not all of them are appreciative of my charts, but that's okay. I like them. And I'll keep doing them. So, uh, so um, there, there's uh, something I was looking at the other day, and um, it's basically how a parabolic move works in um, cryptocurrency and in traditional markets, and how they it, it sort of correlates a little bit to Elliott Wave, but it's a slightly different pattern. And this is what I'm showing here. So we've got. Um, base one, which is our, our first sort of minor correction. Base two, 
um, which is our, our, our next correction. Base three, which I think we're going into now, which we get a, a sideways movement again. And then after base three, once we get to this X point, um, in Elliott Wave as well, we're going into a third wave. So that's um, when we look at Elliott Wave, it's our fastest and our swiftest wave. And this is a wave I've been talking about for quite some time, but we're getting quite a, a bigger correction in this region. Um, so at the end of this base, we double in price in the shortest period of time. So um, that um, this movement is traditionally a one to uh, 618 move, which would take us to 26,000, which is the target that I showed you guys that I worked out that if the um, total crypto market cap moved and doubled very shortly, that we would hit 26,000. So I did this um, using uh, a couple of algebraic um, formulas that I created and worked out from, you know, taking points on the Bitcoin chart and points on the total uh, market cap as to what that price would be like taking into account that we've got, you know, all these alts and everything that take away from Bitcoin now. And uh, 26,000 was my target. So this correlates with that. So, um, which is pretty exciting. So we see that this chart here where we, we had that um, trading engine fail and we came down, we touched the support and then we continued up. So this also takes us to those, those upper targets. Um, and this is, which I'll show you, this is a, the BLZ, which is, I cannot find at the moment. So if we look at this chart, so, and then we take the run up to the all time high and we look at the bases on that. So we've got our first base here, second base, third base, which essentially is what we're at now. And we see that we had this quite deep correction at this point. So we went from um, about 8,000 ish dollars and we came crashing back down to 6,000, just under, I think we hit about 5,700 in this light drop down. So it's, you know, in the whole big scheme of things, that's a, that's a massive drop. And it's sort of what DD is showing behind us that we've got these 30% drops. So we would have this, this huge 100% rise at this point. And then, you know, we had this 30% drop. So then we go into our base four where we had a, a shallow base and we only had so we, we've hit this sort of 12,000 mark and then we've come down and gone to the 9,000. So we've had a $3,000 drop in this point, which gives us a 25% retrace at this point at our base fall and then continued up to our all time high. So, and, and this was this run from literally base three to the all time high took three weeks. So essentially, we, you know, this area that we're in now, which is this, this base three. So essentially that could take, I don't know, three weeks to a month of this sideways movement, similar to what we got on the base two, where everyone was like, is this just going to go sideways forever here? Are we ever going to get out of this region? Um, so this essentially is going to happen again here before we have that doubling effect on Bitcoin. So, um, yeah. So, you, this so is, you expect, Lisa, that the base three will be at this level where we are now, or do you be, expect to go up first again back to this 11K region and create a base over there? Yeah, so I think we're, we're in the base three at the moment. So I think we hold this uh, bottom that we've had. Um, I don't think we're filling gaps. I've said that for a long time. I think that's, you know, the gaps of the illusion that um, they want to create. So, you know, I think at this point we go back up, we, we're going to about 11,300 here, which is the resistance. So if we go to a, um, a BTC chart, so if we, this is the, the BTC chart. So if we go to this and we, we see, like here, so we've got this resistance here, which essentially we could pierce through or we could go on an angle there. We're not, you know, we're still within that, that region. So, you know, if we go up, we're still, we're touching that diagonal resistance there. We're hitting this region here. 
and we're coming back down. So, you know, we can potentially get 11,800 here, depending on the angle of this wave up. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking if it goes straight up from here, we're going to get about 11,300. Um, if it continues sideways over the next couple of weeks, it, it's going to go up to about 11,800. Then we're going to hear that everyone, oh, we're, you know, we're going to 14,000 and then it, they drop it back down again. So, which will take us back down to that sort of, you know, 10,000-ish range, depending on the angle here that we get on this um, correction. So, you know, I think we're in this sideways movement for a little bit longer. Um, that's, that's kind of what has, you know, really thrown everyone and, and caused this uncertainty in the market. So, but this is what happens in these regions. So, you know, in the bases, in the, for the parabolic moves, um, these regions are needed for support support for the, the upper waves. So they, they can't just go straight up because what goes straight up comes straight down. So we need to have that, that base so that, you know, if the wave does sort of fail, it's only going, you know, like it's, it's come down, it's kind of hit the top of this base here. Every little thing is going to be all right. Oh, Dee Dee, we need, yeah, oh, so I think... we need a bit of Dee Dee positiveness today, don't we? <laughs> look at the Ethereum. All right, so let's have a look at the... The Ethereum chart has actually moved so perfectly, it's not funny. So, um, you know, if... I, I really... I'm, <laughs> I'm going to seriously consider trading this on Prime because it's like I just keep nailing this chart. And, you know, it, it moves between support and resistance and it moves exactly. I've, I've, I've moved a little bit onto my prime account with you. So uh, we'll uh, <laughs> nail so, Ethereum this week. <laughs> yeah. So, so what Ethereum is essentially doing. So it's come up, it's done the first wave, it's corrected, it's had a very flat, shallow correction. Um, so rule of alternation in Elliott wave is if like, wave two is flat and shallow, then wave four is going to be quite deep. So um, we know that we've come up, we've done our third wave here, and we're coming down for our fourth wave in Ethereum. And, you know, it's, it's going to essentially be double the size of what the second wave was, which was, you can see it was like, so we, our top here was 251 and we went to 215, which is really, really shallow retrace. So, um, you know, we, we were here at just sort of about to push up to the 500 mark. And I thought, oh, maybe we'll just sort of nudge that. Because you know that at the, these round numbers, all of the short sellers are sitting there waiting. They're like, you're not getting through. So everyone that sort of is anyone short sells at these points. So they're always good sort of regions to, if you want to have a short, sometimes they push through. So it's always best to have a tight stop. But um, with Ethereum, it just, it was looking really, really overbought. So it kind of needed a correction. The gas fees were extreme and, you know, it, it needed some sort of work and some stuff sort of happening. So we saw this. So we, um, I'm, I said to Sean, we've got a couple of points that we could drop. Um, so this, this first one, because it was the, the channel that we were in for a little bit. So we dropped there, we had a small bounce and then we've dropped through to this next one, which was uh, 340 to 320. So we should bounce in this region, which we've been doing. So if I expand this chart out a little bit, you can see that we're sort of dropping. Now, if we don't settle on this 320 sort of ish mark here, my next uh, support here is 280. So, and you know, this, this is a diagonal resistance. It's also a fib line. They, they sort of merge and create this cross support. So this is another a good region to have some orders waiting at the 280, sort of 282 mark on Ethereum, because I really think we could have this really quick bounce down to this point um, you know, if Bitcoin continues to create, correct, which it more than likely will. And, um, you know, then it, it's, it's going to come down here. So Ethereum is correcting in greater moves than what Bitcoin is at the moment. So, you know, the drops are a little bit more extreme and, you know, everyone's like, oh, Bitcoin, but Ethereum's actually, you know, had these, these bigger, deeper corrections. So if we go short so 
so far we've had like a, you know, a 36% move here down on Ethereum. So if you're in a margin, a 10 times margin, so you're on a 360%, 300, yeah, so it's, it's really good profit in that range. So, you know, that's why getting up to these round figures, we, we sort of, you know, we're looking good on getting, getting quite a good sort of, you know, movement and gain on that. Well, that, that's, what I, that's what I said to Adam on the weekend. I was going over there on Friday and I said, I promise you what I won't talk about Bitcoin. I said, I just, um, I just want the, the weekend off. And he's like, we well, don't have to do that. Anyway, half the time, because he talks about it more than I do. And of course, he's Satoshi. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, and he asks questions about stuff and, you know, he's researching stuff and, yeah. So, you know, we're all really passionate about this industry. Yeah. <laughs> <Slap>. <laughs> <Slap>. <laughs> I'm ignoring you, Didi. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you smiling. That's not my goal. Yeah. No, I, I just go there because he cooks me breakfast. Mm -hmm. Nobody else cooks me breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As you say, Didi, I like that advice. You always got to zoom out. At the, uh, you know, we've we've had weeks of of crazy gains here. Uh, so <laughs> everything's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Yeah, no Lisa's, Lisa's frozen on us with a nice look on her face there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was because I did this. <laughs> the hell is that? Yeah, that's the Why? secret. <laughs> that's a secret. <laughs> oh, we <Good>. lost Lisa. <laughs> oh, she loves it, yeah. Hi guys, sign up to Bybit using my dad's referral link. You need to subscribe before the 10th of September. Get a $90 bonus, 20% discount on the trading fees, and you can win one Bitcoin in September. Thank you and good luck. I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video I make. And if you're up to it, please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Let's educate each other. And by educating each other, we will ed be educating all the other subscribers as well. 9,000 at the moment. Yes, I'm very happy with the 9K number. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Oh yeah, tomorrow the video will be online a little bit later because I'm going to visit it a crazy cool place that has to do with machines, stones and something else. But you will see that one in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye!